Hey guys, welcome back to Marche's Mirror. We're gonna jump right into this. So here I'm using the Fenty Beauty Primer. And remember, I have dry skin, and I actually really like this primer. It goes on like a moisturizer almost. That's the consistency. That's the best way I describe it. That white cash you see goes away. I made that face because I thought I used too much. And it once you rub it into the skin, it gets slightly tacky. Um, I think the primer goes well with the foundation, so I do think that you need both. But not everybody primes, but it definitely fills your pores. And I think the primer gets an A from me. That was my happy dance moving right along to the foundation i'm in shade 410 and i'm proud of myself because i shade matched myself and i think i pretty what i think i did pretty good so i'm just dining it around my face this foundation is very matte so today my that day my skin was extra dry so i wish i had used um, a moisturizer under the primer maybe like a oil or something so with dry skin, I would say you need to move twice as fast with this foundation because the foundation is matte. If you have dry skin, it will like dry super fast. So if you have dry skin and you use this foundation, I would say move super fast. So don't dot it all over your face like I did. Maybe go a section at a time. Also, I would suggest using a thick moisturizer or some type of oil moisturizer under the primer than the foundation just to give your... Um, can we take a moment for my hair? Yes, please. I would use a moisturizer just because the foundation can be so matte. It depends on your skin because the first time I used this foundation didn't really have a problem. This time I think my skin was a little dehydrated so it gave me a little bit more of a problem but I still love it. I think it's a great foundation and it doesn't feel like you have anything on your face. Like literally nothing. Here I'm just showing you kind of a close up. I just can't get over this shade match like hey I, I shade matched myself and I'm so proud moving on to the match sticks love that it's magnetic such a child but I have to say these are the products that are my least favorite I think the concealer sticks are really dry and I prefer a creamy liquid concealer you'll see in a second I go in with my Tarte Shape Tape because I saw someone I can't think of the name I saw someone mix the two that's the only way I'll use it honestly and I spent my money so I'm gonna use it so I mix my Tarte Shape Tape with it um I don't use the concern stick at all I feel like the color wasn't what I was going for but I'm gonna give it another try I just had somewhere to go after filming this so I didn't want to risk it and my makeup get ruined song break um so I'm just gonna blend that out and I'm gonna continue to sing also, I did ignore this. Yes, my background is background. Bleh. My background is different. This is my mother's beauty room. It's currently in a makeover, and it's but it has a really nice window. So I decided to film in front of that. Here, I'm using my favorite matchstick, which is the highlighter stick. So it's not even a matchstick. This is rum, and I love it. I love this highlighter stick. It's not one of those creams that move all around. Like where you put it is where it's gonna stay. Um, it's buildable and powder highlights go beautifully over top of it so if you want to get anything I say get one of the highlighter match sticks hey Janet girl she was going with me to the baby shower after this video so that's why she's making a few cameos and I'm invading her space so <laughs> I'm just going in with Mac o Darling over Ron because I want to bling for the gods so yeah, I'm gonna put on a second highlighter. I'm gonna film myself. Hey, you look good, girl. Oh, you saw my little editing. You see, I try to do. I try to be cute. I try to be cute. Here, I'm using the Fenty. 
Fenty Gloss. I think it's called Gloss Bomb. I love it. I say go out and get it. Stop this video. Go get it. If you want to get anything from Fenty Beauty, I say get the foundation, the lip gloss, and a highlighter stick. And recently, I went back and bought one of her highlighter duos. I haven't tried it yet, but I'll let you guys know via Instagram how I like um, the highlighter I got. I got the pink one. So I'll keep you guys updated. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my super short Fenty review. I went through hell and back to get this voice over recorded and to get this video up. So leave in the comments down below what you bought. Love you guys. Bye.